Good day, everyone. Today, I want to introduce to you my friend Alfie Kochkin. Hello. Uh, he is from uh, Sao Paulo, but currently he lives in Sao Andre and works in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And today, we're going to talk about uh, language learning, efficient methods of language learning, and other uh, language learning related experiences. So, my first question to you what was the first language, first foreign language you learned? My first language was English at school. Uh, it was a long time ago. And then my first contact with the language was with at school with literature and then on grammar. So my teacher was very nice and all the time uh, she gave us uh, some motivation to go beyond the, gra the grammar and uh, the structure and the cultural aspect was very important in the process of learning. So my passion comes from this era. Interesting. And uh, afterwards, uh, what was the second language? After a couple of years, I was in love with the study of language, so I decided to, to know more about culture, about uh, people. And uh, my second language was Icelandic and Spanish at the same time. Oh really? Why Icelandic? Why? I mean, it's, <laughs> even for Brazil, even for Ukraine, it's a specific language. Why? Why Icelandic? Spanish, for example, it, it seems That's like... a important language for us now, in Brazil. Uh, Icelandic... I remember my grandfather was an intellectual and he was reading a book about uh, the Vikings and he told me about the, the old language uh, from this region of Europe, Icelandic, or was the oldest language. So I decided to, to know more about this language and it was in love you know, with the culture, with the language, the, the sounds, with the history behind the language. Uh, because uh, I think when you decided to study language, it's not only to, to become a book and read rules and grammar and uh, translated phrases you know, from your native language uh, into another one. So the Icelandic lifestyle you know, is uh, interesting, very interesting. So behind these lines, uh, if, I say, if I can say it this way, I found something, uh, my passion for Icelandic. Uh, so I found a course, an uh, online course for free on the internet, and I started uh, my way in this language. Interesting. And uh, did you like? Did you communicate with uh, uh, native speakers of Icelandic here in Sao Paulo in Brazil in general? Only uh, on the internet. Uh, I think it's impossible. Not to find a cylinder here in Sao Paulo. Uh, and I'm not such a lucky, lucky man. I wrote a message to the, the country, uh, the embassy of Asylum, and they told me it's hard to find uh, Asylum here in Sao Paulo. So I find, I try to find uh, some friends uh, on the internet, and this way I can practice my skills. And improve no, my my knowledge in this language. So long time I'm speaking this language. So I try. I read every day, but uh, it's possible here to to feel the real language, the actual language. It's complicated. Okay, I know this kind of feeling. I have also several languages. It's like a disappointment because you know uh, something in this language, but it's impossible to practice. Okay, uh, let us... Uh, Spanish, I mean, uh, what was the experience with Spanish? Why, why why, did you want to learn it, first thing, first question? And yeah, like, what was the progress afterwards, like, when you decided to learn Spanish? Like, what was, like, did you find native speakers? And did you communicate with them? Okay, a lot of questions, sorry for that, a lot of questions, but first, why, reason why, why you decided to And the reason why, because Spanish was in the program, uh, is one of the subjects in school. And all the time, we are Brazilian, now we live in Brazil, and we had uh, a direct communication with Spanish. Uh, and Spanish-Portuguese have, uh, as I say, 
a commissual way. Man, we have the same origin, we have yeah. the same uh, development, so it's not very complicated to, to get to speak uh, Spanish. Of course, you have to study. Man. So Spanish was one of the subjects at school. And uh, after school, actually after university, I, th I decided to go to Argentina uh, to live for a couple of months. Uh, not in Buenos Aires because I prefer living in a small city. And uh, I moved to Bariloche and I improved my skills uh, in this city. Interesting. I know uh, some people from Peru. Uh, from Chile, uh, from Spain, so it's Spanish is a life uh, for me. Uh, this language takes part in my life, so every day I speak this language. Now I work in, in the Spanish Institute. Oh really? Really. So uh, I, uh, I have to speak Spanish every day. Uh, I value your Spanish. Um, so you told me you work with an institute, uh, SDS Instituto de, de Cervantes, or other institute in Spanish, de Espanol. I work in the Instituto de Instituto Maria Inmaculada, and the hermanas are from Spain. They speak Spanish every day. And it's an opportunity very big to meet them. De la cultura española también y la, la, el proceso de cristianización eh, no solamente de, de, de Brasil pero también de la, de la escuela eh, del proceso de enseñanza eh, de la lengua muy importante un trabajo muy importante para nosotros y creo que estamos haciendo un, un trabajo pero y, Queremos seguir adelante con este proceso de educación y dando oportunidad para, para toda la gente que, que quiere estudiar, que quiere conocer España, que quiere conocer Argentina y también otras casas alrededor del mundo. Yeah. Interesante, muy interesante. Uh, I'll switch to English again. Uh, Back to English. Yeah. Your Spanish is marvelous, as it seems to me. Well, what was after Spanish? Uh, what other languages after Spanish did you pick up? I noticed that after English, uh, that the word is bigger than English. Now, we can find a lot of interesting people if we study, uh, study language. Now, language is the it's like art. No, it's like art. And everything we do, everything we think, everything uh, we decide to do, our decision is based on language. No? So I decided to study language. My third language, no, after language, as I like in Spanish, uh, uh, my first language I decided myself to study was Icelandic. But English and Spanish no, was a uh, worthy program no, at school. My, as I say, my second language was German. No. I decided to study German because a friend of mine invited me no, to go to school with her. So I think, I don't know why, a German. But Germany has a very interesting history. Yeah, I agree. No. And uh, it was my first difficult uh, uh, language, and it was for very, very hard to study uh, German because with whom I was speaking German. Yeah. Like, as I lived in Brazil, uh, in Sao Paulo, it was not complicated to find someone who speaks, uh, for example, Spanish. Really? Uh, I had a, a very bad experience you know, with Atlantic because. I couldn't find anyone, and uh, I thought all the time, uh, with whom I'm going to speak uh, German. Uh, but 
when when I get and I mean, uh, I get a language, I decide I do this language. Something changes in my mind. I find the, I hunt people. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I hunt people. I, I decide this, this this way. So, in the class, we were I don't know twenty students. We all uh, with the same objective. It get to speak German. Yeah. yeah so. Speaking the language was not difficult. Ich habe die Deutsche äh, in der deutschen Schule hier äh, in São Paulo. Das war so wunderbar. Ich glaube auch so, <lacht> weil weil es sehr es geht, weil es ist sehr schwierig hier um, Deutsche zu finden oder Österreicher oder. Schweiz, die, die Leute aus der Schweiz, aus der Schweiz zu gehen, sehr, sehr schwierig. In São Paulo, äh, in Brasil, in Brasilien. Ja, yes, yes, yes. Uh, now, after many years, of course, I have some difficulty not to speak this language, but I understand it with no problem. Uh, but I prefer speaking English, you know, another language, uh, because uh, it's not part of my life you know, to speak this language. You know, after some years of studying this language, uh, we separated. You know, the course is over you know, because it was a uh, free course in you know, Sao Paulo. And the school was closed and we lost everything. Um, but I understand this language, but I need more practice. You know, um, that, that's my situation with this language. No case. Können wir weiter uh, auf Deutsch gehen? Ich glaube. Ja. Dann mach. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, after German, I know that your language story is still not over. There are other languages and more complicated languages than the thing. Uh, what was after German? What language? After German, I entered to a university. First of all, I decided to study uh, IT. Uh, so this is this was very not, not interesting for me because I love people. I love to be uh, in contact with people. But I appreciate work uh, with IT, uh, technology, field, but I love people. Uh, I prefer being with people. And decided. Um, to study the language at university. And a very big and interesting word was open to me. Uh, Catalan, Galician, French, and Italian, Greek, Latin. Uh, all these languages were uh, beyond my eyes, in front of me. Picago, uh, one of this language and get, go ahead. Now, I decided this time to study the Catalan. Now, go. As a Portuguese, this is my favorite language, of course, because it's my native language. I love speaking Portuguese. Now, I love the way Portuguese sounds. Now, so I decided to, to know uh, more, now, to get more detail with the, the Latin language. Now, so the first one was. Uh, I know, I know, like, uh, 
is it right now the moment for the Russian? It's a ro romantic topic or not? Or there is other language? No, look, it's uh, Valencian, very similar to Catalan, and French, of course. French. Uh, Parlez-vous français? Je comprends. Je ne parle pas. Pourquoi? Pourquoi pas? French. I think the language hates me. Why? Why? I think uh, it's impossible for me to speak or to get to learn this language. I have tried many times, many times, many years, and still you can you could not conquer. It's impossible. It's impossible. I think I have a kind of trauma. Because when I was in university, uh, people knew that I loved the language. And one of my teachers uh, asked me to read a text about language in French. It was a shame. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I think there is a block between me and the language. Okay, so I say so I, say I have to go to a, a psychologist. No, no, I just, I just think there is another remedy for it. Uh, we, we should find a community of uh, people from IT. Yes, yeah, it's and, possible. And, and to some, some alco and like sit down at table <laughs> and then lay down under the table after some some alco like beer. <laughs> sharing, yeah, beer, vodka. Beer is the best medicine. Yeah, yeah, and th that, that's... Beer is the best motivation. Yeah, like, make an immersion for you with French. Or find some French people, French community, which should should, should exist, at least, like... Uh, I, give my, I, give, I give a shot. A shot. Yeah, <laughs> at, least, at least, like, three weeks ago, I visited one uh, uh, gathering of people who practice foreign languages here in Sao Paulo, and there were, like, uh, four French people. And it was like a nice conversation between, though like uh, the sadness of my heart is that I, my French is still at basic level and I started learning it like also three weeks ago. Congratulations. Thank you. Join, welcome to the club. <laughs> welcome to the club. <laughs> I hope after a couple of years we were able to speak in Spanish. Spanish or French? French. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> Spanish. 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 <laughs> No, I mean, That's my block. I have problems with friends. I don't know what to do. I've tried it many times to go to school. I studied at school. I studied uh, home. I have a lot of book home to, uh, to study with my friend. I really tried hard. But I, I, I remember when I was going to school to, 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 to learn uh, French, every class, my teacher said, hey, open your book to page 20, 15, I don't know. Today, we're going to start uh, the real words. Let me go. I don't know uh, the regular words. How can I know how to use the regular words? Even good morning. There's some elementary of the language of uh, the language of I don't know. It's hard. It's hard it's to learn like this. Yes, yes, it's impossible for me to, to hold a conversation. Basic conversation in this language. It's impossible. I know a few words, a few phrases. Almost. Uh, that's that's the set the set. That, that's the set my moment. disappointment. Yeah. Discouragement. If you if you would like to know my disappointment life. It's French. It's French. It's okay. My, my, my disappointment, honestly, my disappointment I is... Give up. <laughs> yeah, my disappointed, disappointment still up till now. There are several languages. First is Arabic. The second is Italian. Still not. And... The, no, lo capisco. Still not. And, well, what else? And Persian. Persian. I, I give up. And yeah, and Japanese, sorry. I received a very good book today to study Japanese. Ah, I saw that, that on, on your yes. table. Yes. I, I was just like 
What's that? Okay, okay, okay. Let's give it a try one more time. Uh, then after after French, what? Hopefully there was no disappointment, or there was. Uh, Russian. Russian. Okay, Russian is a special story here. So, uh, I, okay, Ukrainian. It will be a sobremesa. It will be dessert. Dessert. I don't know what's the correct pronunciation in English, but dessert. Yeah, dessert. Sir, so dessert so is the place. Yeah, yeah. Desert. Desert is the place. Dessert should be should be a sobremesa. Okay. Uh, now I think let's switch into Russian. Later I will make uh, subtitles to it. Хорошо. Так, давай по-русски. Как ты выучил русский? Почему вообще эта идея у тебя возникла? Почему ты решил выучить русский язык? Моя самая большая мотивация в изучении русского языка моя жена. Да, ну до жены. Ты до жены решил выучить русский или после жены? После. После. Да. До нее вообще не знала про русский. Даже в школе. Как, как ты с женой познакомился? У нас а, есть общий друг, да? а сейчас он живет в, в России, в Русе, но я забыл, как называется город, в каком университете ты работаешь. Да. Он я, бразилец. Он бразилец, да, живет в России, жена его тоже русская. Украли бедня. Украли. Украли. А до нее вообще не знал ничего по-русски. Даже про, про Россию. И она а, любила Бразилию и хотела ехать в Бразилию. И через него мы с ней познакомились с историей. Это не элементарно, это еще пока друг другу приехать, пока встретиться. Да, в тот время я вообще по-русски и тоже она вообще не знала португальском. И разговор был, и я говорю, это были по-английски, и она тут по-русски. А как я знал в то время чешский? Чешский. Чешский язык, да? Да, ты вчера мне рассказывал о чешском. Да, да, да. Я да. потом ставлю чуть-чуть да. видосы. За 10 лет я ходил на курс чешского языка. И не знаю, как, меня очень, мне было очень приятно общаться с ней. Да? А, и я хотел побольше знать чешского языка. А, Сходить в магазин, купить книгу, посадить и выучил. Вот так с книгой взял и выучил. Да, за три месяца тоже. На бытовые темы там. Да. Молоток, молоток, что могу сказать? Я, я думаю, что русский язык на самом деле был а, самый, про, самый простой язык. По сравнению с исландским. Нет, русский язык я вообще бью через этот месяц. Так, нормально. Очень хорошо. Очень, Очень хорошо. хорошо. Но, конечно, каждый день. Каждый, не знаю, три-четыре часа. А, я уже читал книгу. А, 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 а. Это мне это. Теперь понятно. Да, это мне это. Молодец, молодец. Потом... Когда есть мотивация, вообще не трудно. Барьера вообще нет. То есть главное у тебя вообще. Теперь мы методом. Да, это, это главный, метод, главный метод, это мотивация, то есть основное, основное это мотивация. Потом время, то есть у тебя принцип какой, если ты взялся за язык, взял язык, ты учишь каждый день. Да. Кому? Чем больше, тем лучше, в принципе. Ага, конечно, потому что я хочу а, знать очень быстро. Я вообще не люблю ходить на школу, на курсы. Я хочу делать все по-своему. И каждый день, каждый день, каждый день. Я читаю, я смотрю. Да, 
дальнейшую информацию. Да? Больше сказать, не видно, например, телефон. А если уже там на поезде, на работу, я читаю. Ты читаешь вслух или ты читаешь в основном про себя? То есть вот в чем момент. А, если читаешь вслух, там, например, есть такой человек, который открыл твой, твой артбол, он знал 15 языков, знал русский, но вроде не сидели. Греческий он получил за, за две недели. У него был какой метод, он читал вслух книгу и потом пересказывал. Типа со словарем посмотрел, типа, там какие значения. Я говорю со словарем. Это Лейер и такой закламар, Лейер Хаббулс Аутер. Читать вслух, тогда потом просто И вот это был его метод. У тебя есть такой метод или нет? Да, я читаю, потом хожу, сам собой говорю. А, сам собой разговариваешь? Да. То есть я тоже слыш, слышал о таком Созда а, Можно создать на диалог. Эй, да, привет. О, знаешь, что там, там камера. А, хорошо. Если я говорю, например, например, там есть камера. Ну, это правда. Но мало кто так говорит. Потом я читаю структуру. Самое э, само важное знать структуру языка. Потом, как я уже знаю структуру, могу со собой говорить спокойно. Структуры ты с чего начинаешь? С глаголов, например. Да, да. Глаголы времена это основное. Да. Глагол. А, как надо устроить мои предложения? Будь лицо. Глагол, предмет, как это будет? Да? Скоржение глаголов. Есть, например, в английском языке, я вспомнил, да? в английском языке есть просто she speaks и все. В русском есть. В русском языке есть. Надо, надо знать это очень хорошо. Если хорошо не знает, то ты будешь говорить на так. Моя, моя, не понимаю. Я хочу этот апельсин, он белый. Да. Я хочу, я хочу, я хочу это, 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 это груша, эту грушу, она красный. Я люблю а, говорить с ты. Да. Понятно, ну. Ну, это понятно, но это не красиво. Согласен. Да, когда я, я решаю, что я хочу изучать этот язык, то я хочу до конца. Я хочу читать литературу, я хочу смотреть э, кино, я хочу взять, не знаю, журнал, газет и понимать. Я хочу посидеть там в кафе, в баре. И общаться с людьми. А? А, есть секрет. Например, был момент, когда я не знаю. Хорошо, я знаю русский язык. Пошел общаться с детьми. Если дети понимают тебя, это значит, что ты хорошо говоришь. Он это русский. По-русски. То там был мальчик. А привет, ты понимаешь все, что я говорю? Да, я понимаю. Я тебе только понимаю. Ты знаешь, что я хорошо говорю по-русски. Но когда я был в России первый раз, никакого вообще не понимал вообще. А теперь давай поподробнее насчет России. То есть ты жил в России, ты не путешествовал, ты потом как? Ты не туристом был, например, да? Я насколько понял, ты жил там. Да, да, я так жил, тоже ненадолго так жил, и этот момент был сложен, хорошо я довольно много. Да, первые три недели было очень сложно, потом нет, потом уже... Сколько, как говорится, с людьми на улице, смотря как много, потому что, когда ты там, с контактом, с языком, везде. Каждый, 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 каждый,
каждого человека. Там говорит на русском языке, и я включу телевизор, тоже по-русски. После месяца уже очень хорошо, не трудно. Возможно, уже можно ходить, не знаю, в магазин, где молоко, смотреть кино, знать про, про, про что у них говорили в телевизоре, в телеке. Нормально, по телевизору. По телевизору. Ну и да, я, я... Нет, это Да, сейчас... Я, я говорю, но я работаю с русскими. И смешно, да, потому что... Я, я, я думаю, что я хорошо говорю, но уже после несколько не знаю, сколько лет о нем говорю. Получается, что я забываю. Да ладно, не, не прибедняйся, не, не стесняйся. Все нормально. Ну да, новый язык. А теперь, что еще вернемся, теперь вот история. Як ти вивчив українську мову? Розказуй. Українська, українська мова. Я плохо говорю, на самом деле, по-українськи. Я говорю українську мову. Недобре. Чому недобре? Я так думаю. Ну, говорю так. Добре. У мене є подруга, вона живе в Києві, її звати Ольга, Доля, да. і в той момент вона, ми тільки на, на русском говорили в нас, потім я читав кошту по-русски, а по-українськи, і вдома. Ну, тоже Слава. Не помогай, если не хочешь. Ну, хорошо, а сейчас? Сейчас я тоже работаю в этом славу. Что школа тоже. Или как школа. И там танцуют люди из Украины. И Жанна <coughs> разговаривает українською мовою. Сенжана, наскільки я чув, вона із Тернополя, вона взагалі з України. Зову з України. З міста Тернополь. Я особисто її, я її не знаю, поки що. Може, може потім покажеш відео, що ми її тут згадували. І це добре, я думаю, що, якщо в тебе є практика вже української мови, Є досі, да, я... наприклад, є дівчина твоя подруга а, по інтернет-спілкуванню, є також пані Сніжана на той одній з твоїх робіт. А, ще я, наскільки пам'ятаю, ти а, мені розказував, що частину, леву частину української мови ти а, почав почати завдяки а, програмі «Голос країни». Було таке. Так, так. Тобі ця, тобі ця програма допомогла вивчити частину української мови. Я просто пам'ятаю, ти колись до мене заговорив українською, ще коли я працював з Артуром, і ти до мене заговорив українською, і я тут дуже здивований і тебе запитав, я, як ти вивчив, де ти вивчив, де ти вивчав, за, за допомогою голос країни. Також один. Я, я не знаю цю програму. Я не знаю цю програму. Я хотів вчити українською українською мови. І це подруга на України сказав мені, я книга, у мене є книга. Книга. А русська книга. Оля, тут у неї, поки я сінчу по, і кому про мій, по, ми трансмічуємо до португіз, про іспаньол, 
vai, vai dar, às vezes vai dar confusão. Né? Ah, ah, sim. E pra, pra você agora, tipo, você tu de dia a dia tá usando o russo, é tipo, mais ou menos praticado no ucraniano, vai dar confusão, porque o ucraniano sim. ainda é nível básico, viu? tipo, nível básico intermediário. Até você, você atende nível avançado. Avançar, eu acho que quando vai, vai atingir, quando você vai atingir nível, alcançar nível, nível avançado, vai parar esse tipo de confusão. Nihal. Nihal. Давай, китай, китайский не, будь ласка, китайский уже портим. Добро. А тя подруга отправила мне книгу. И я начал изучать, изучать, да, изучать русскую мову. И пока много, не очень. Я читаю, понимаю, сам элементарно уже знаю, да. Але, коли, коли я там, я уже не знал, не жаль, мы разговариваем на русском. Це для мене дуже добра практика. Сходина, так. Я чекав говорити українською мовою. Зараз ти також будеш зі мною розмовляти. Дякую. Зробити інтерв'ю чисто українською мовою. Я думаю, що якщо пані Сніжана, я, твоя подруга з Києва, ми тебе разом... Дякую, Володі. Якось ми тебе навчили. У мене є також подруга. Вона не з Києва, але вона є... several languages, 
for example, a passion for languages. Is is this way, this journey, is it worth uh, traveling or not? Is it worth being taken or not? First, yes. First, yes. But I think the first step is to understand to why this language work? Is this language important for you? Do it well. Do it for, for what situation? Is just for fun? Is uh, because you want to live abroad? Is just because you want to to read? To what films? The most important point is the first step. It must be clear for you what you like that you see from this language. Answer for the question mm. why. Do I get Answer for right? the, the question why this language. Okay. So this is the this is the first step. Afterwards. Afterwards, get a uh, I don't know. You have to get uh, information in this language. You have to receive this language. The language must be part of your life. They. They. If you don't use this language every day, if you don't uh, separate a few hours every day to see and to turn the key, you will never get to understand any part of it. Because the language is not only the, the grammar rules. The language is a piece of culture. It's a piece of life. It's a way to explain the world around. For example, for me, this is just water. Blue. I see the theme of the, this, this whole world. It's blue. But the word blue, it has a lot of meanings for different cultures, for different people. And you, you must understand this point. If you don't understand this point, you never get to understand uh, the way people think in that language. So it's impossible to, to understand the language. For example, I could pick up a dictionary in Chinese, understand the same word. Get to read, read all the literature. I know uh, after doing that, I know all the words. But for me, this way, it's impossible uh, to read or to communicate with people. I know just words, all this. If you want, I can say uh, now uh, 20 words in French. Back to French. Yeah, yeah. Minus appointment. It's possible. We live in a very globalized world. And so it, it, it's possible for you to find uh, a few words in Ukrainian, for example, uh, in Portuguese. You think? We find. But does it mean that uh, people speak this language? Of course not. Of course not. Uh, so the language, you have to know uh, the sense of the language. People. The books try to, to imitate the, the, the actual life. How people use this language? That's the question. And why do you have to, uh, to, to study this language? What is their objective? If you have clear in your mind uh, the object, why is it for? What's the reason why? I think uh, it's possible. All this way is possible. That's my that's my my rule for for some languages. Yeah, uh, I think I like have to be clear. Such kind of vision, like such, I mean, very, very wide scope.
very wide screen. And yeah, like still like sometimes, sometimes for me, I sometimes stay up uh, picking up language just just because I like the sound. That's it, just because of, I like the music. And so it is like I mean like I never like I never ever like uh, really think profoundly like whether I would need this language in the future. For example, like I learned Chinese I never ever thought like I would only use it in Brazil. Like only once in Ukraine. That's it. Like I would never ever thought about it. And I just like the language. That was like key point. And yeah, there were like uh, there was a community there in Ukraine of Chinese people, and I kept it alive. And, like I I use it I use it on a daily basis. But I mean I never ever like thought like what this language is for. Mostly, the language, at that moment of my life, the language was mostly for fun. Now, like, not, nowadays I use it for work. And my fun became my job. Well, it happens. It happens because, uh, as I said, my wife uh, is a Russian girl. So, I decided to start Russian because we had to speak to Tua, with Tua. Uh She studied uh, Portuguese. I studied Russian. Why? Was it possible to speak only English? Of course, the international language. Yes, but I would like to understand uh, her culture. And she might. Uh, but for the fun, I, I never, never thought I would like, uh, I would work with this language. This language is only to use uh, at home with relatives, with uh, friends, with my wife. Just that. Now I work <laughs> with this language. Yeah, it <laughs> happens, it happens. It happens, no? My money is provided by Russia. Yeah, yeah, who knows maybe if in one year you will earn your piece of cake with the Ukrainian or I don't know, another way. Maybe one day you work with Ukrainian. Or French. Or French, it's possible. It's possible. Actually, my master degree uh, is based on French. That, that's the that's the joke of life, you know. I have, I have, a, I must <laughs> learn this language, but I give my try. I give my try. Maybe uh, within two years, I get to speak this language fluently. Including Ukrainian, of course, of course. No, Ukrainian is. The second most beautiful language I have ever studied. The first one, of course, is Portuguese, but it's my native language. The first one is excellent. We talk to this. The story behind the uh, sense, the sound, the grammar, people, to the territory. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. For, for me, like the first by melody, uh, like not to count, not to count Ukrainian because it's my native language, so I would count it. For me, it's like number one. Uh, the second is, or like first foreign, first foreign language by melody is Portuguese, and well, the second which I like is uh, Turkish, and like in between, like third place divided it. Uh, in between Cantonese and uh, Arabic. Arabic language. Sounds nice. Sounds very nice. Just, it, it's a Louis, Arabic. Yeah, I have, a, I have a deep Arabic. Really? Really, I have one. And sometimes I read. I can read Arabic, but I, I can't speak. But I read. 
I can speak I can speak Arabic, Egyptian Arabic, but I mean I I, I cannot read. I can speak it, but I cannot read it. That's my problem. I'm so so lazy like to pick up like these, these letters like four four times of writing. My name is on it. Right. Uh, like it's, it's easy. I mean, it's easy to write your name like just <laughs> one stick. I think because my father just reports my name. Okay, so you're 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 dead. Does your dad know Arabic or not? No, 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 no. Uh, my father used it to read the Bible. And Alf was a character, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who was Alf. And uh, after after the moment, you know, you know, I knew my mother uh, was pregnant. Now I have to sit and to say. So Alf, it means the number one, the one. I really actually don't know, I don't know the story behind my name, why my father decided to give me, give me you know, his name. So, I don't remember this story, meu pai. I don't remember, but it's a party. I don't remember, I don't remember, I forgot. Bem, não lembro, não esqueci. Meu pai me contou essa história. É, eu tenho que conversar com ele para saber por que ele fez isso. Eu acho que depois eu tenho que pedir. É, vamos parar no ponto do árabe. No ponto do árabe. Ok, então, como eu disse antes, a melodia da língua é uma das minhas favoritas três vezes. E o terceiro lugar é. My melody is that is divided in between Cantonese and uh, Arabic. And yes, sometimes I really like Persian sound of Persian languages, like number four. Uh, well, at least for me. But I think all of these languages are really beautiful for my ear. I agree. I have a different I just learned to read you know, the words in Arabic. I can read, but I cannot speak. I can I can speak, but I can read. And I can speak Egyptian Arabic. And, yeah. and the inspiration came after like uh, two, after two two events in my life. First is uh, that I visited Egypt in 2008. Later on, I met Grant, and she, she was kind of part of my inspiration. And then I met another friend, uh, current my subscriber. So, like, well, they, they are both inspired me to, res to resume learning Arabic. So that's, that's currently, currently it at the moment. Hopefully this year, this year I will resume, I will resume this, this language. We'll see, we'll see. The most important is not to stop. Yeah. Yeah, and this fe feeling of like passion, each each feeling of learning something new. Keep feeling the vibration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So at this moment, I think we are going to say goodbye to my subscribers, and uh, that those were the recommendations and life story of my friend Alif. And uh, well, learn foreign languages. Discover something new, new cultures, discover new friends, uh, perhaps find your destiny in the other country. And yeah, keep on learning. Never stop, like Adiki says. I never stop studying language, learning language, uh, people. Uh, this world is very, very, very big. There are lots of things, there's a lot of now I'm thinking, what's the next language? You already have one to, to, have two to improve. I mean, French and Ukrainian. <laughs>
just master them, master them to the to the level of a newscaster, like nível do locutor on the radio. I'd like to study uh, Chinese, Korean, and Japanese. They are Japanese laying there on your table there in your flat. <laughs> it's waiting for me already. Uh, to be to be Okay, let's go to Acre. I mean, I oh, I already been there in Acre, you know, like. So you, you speak to be to be. No, I had no time to speak to Acre. You speak to be. No, I mean, I had there, I had there, like, yeah. how can I say, it? I had there. I only spent three, even less than three months. I had no time, and at that moment there was nobody to teach me this language. I, I thought but about. Do they speak? No, I mean there, there. The thing is in Acre, in Acre. Like what I what I read in the articles in the news that there should be Egypt, Indians there. I came. I only I only I have only, I only ran into uh, people from Haiti, Haiti and people from uh, Bolivia. That was it. That was it. I mean, I like, and there was no, no one to teach me. Like, I never, I have never seen Indians there. And uh, most of the time I spent there, like, locked in the house and, and visiting, like, from time to time public library. And at that moment, I mean, I did not even know how to speak Portuguese. So, <laughs> what, what are we talking about? Like, I, I was there, like, uh, a uh, person in prison, I may say so. Like, that was an interesting part of my life. Let's go to Paraguay. Do you know uh, in Paraguay that one of the official languages, they have two official languages. Yeah. One, yes, one of these two people. Yeah, I have two friends there. One of them is Ukrainian, another of them is Russian. And they own a brewery, brewery plant, brewery factory, like they brew beer. Uh, that's it, and they, they told me about it. Oh, let's go to Paraguay. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Like, our next next video should be Paraguay. Yeah, vamos para Paraguay. Vamos, vamos que vamos. Vamos que vamos. Pacada, Zvidania, Rotin, Vriam, Fabio, Chato, Estaboy. Me too, really pleasure. And yeah, up to next video, like, next video we, we should do, I think, both Ukrainian and French. Okay. Maybe two people. If, if so, Maybe something. Maybe Chinese, no, Korean, no, Arabian. No, 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 no. That, 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 Turkish. <laughs> no, no. There is something that I'd like to speak. Okay. To say. Uh, if one of you could send me, please, a book to study a Tatar. Okay. Tartar language. Tatar language. Uh, Udmurtsky. More language, please, please send me. Okay, okay, send me. There, I mean, there. You this Russia, пожалуйста. Мне очень хочется заниматься its music. Cool. Uh, okay, I know that there are uh, people from Russia who are watching me, and even some of my subscribers from Russia learn English by watching my videos. I don't know like, how they manage to do that, but I'm happy people learn English uh, via Ukrainian language. Uh, so like, if you, if you are from these regions where uh, Udmurt language or Tartar language is spoken, please think about me. Yeah, please say, send a book to Alephine to yeah. learn these languages. And I will, I think I will, from his permission, I would, uh, write down the video his email address or Facebook account uh, to for you to be able to connect with him and know his uh, postal address. So if you want to help to support Alifin, please donate these two books. Because <laughs> in Brazil, there is no way to find them. No way. It's impossible. It's impossible. I, I have got a PDF, but I love video books. Yeah, Actually, I know, I know this feeling. Because in PDF, you have no chance to focus. No, 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 it's impossible. 
And with paper book, it's much easier to focus and yes. progress. I'm old. I love real reading. No, I, I don't think it's about that. <laughs> I, I think it's just about the matter of focus or concentration. PDF is on computer or an ebook is harder to, to get focus, harder, much harder. Please tell my brother. What? Tell it to my brother. Okay. Okay. <laughs> my brother my brother thinks I'm very old because I love to hold book. No, it's just a matter of getting focus. I, I love to feel the paper. It's already the yeah, like to, to feel the paper is another thing, but to get focused is is, is a matter of paper book, at least from my experience. From my job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.